Belfast High School, school roll 809, headmaster Richard Nixon. No relation, I presume. Sorry, was that a joke? <laughs> Deputy head Eric Slatt. Either of you know Slatt? Yes, I taught in the same school for about six months, years ago. Impressions? There was a history teacher there who told the kids that Napoleon had an Eric Slatt complex. <laughs> joke. I think this one might be the one we're looking for. I agree, Miss Drumlins. Me too, Olivia. <laughs> OK, gentlemen. Let's give them hell. Why? 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 Mr. Slat, one question at a time. <laughs> well, come on, come on, back to work, everybody. Remember what's happening today. I have to protest about the behaviour of our pupils. The hospital just phoned. I have just been subjected to the most disgusting abuse in that playground. Wellsite Hospital, that is, where you took our community service fifth formers yesterday. Well, on that very subject, the children have been very rude to me this morning. The medical staff were, to say the least, rather critical of some of your choice of activity. Well, that's no excuse to call me death nurse from hell. <laughs> Specifically, the surprise party for the cardiac patients. Yes, yes, Mr. Slatt, I'm perfectly capable of admitting when I've made a tiny misjudgment. But not at the time, it seems. And apparently you just thought they were all acting a bit surprised and a lot of car alarms were going off. <laughs> Janet. I noticed a great deal of litter in the playground this morning. It's not part of my duty to pick up litter, darling. Yes, I know, dear. I just thought you might be hungry. <laughs> and I understand by the time the emergency team arrived, you were attempting a sing-along. How about this one? I think she's about the cutest. Well, her nose isn't very attractive, is it? <laughs> I think it looks fine, actually. Well, doesn't anyone ever make fun of your nose in class? Bent nose? Squidgy face. <laughs> Fans of the opera. <laughs> Sit in my office and smile a lot, and when our special visitors come today, I want you to keep telling them how happy you are here. Is that understood? And obviously, try and keep your nose out of sight. <laughs> are we going to discuss the attitude the children have been taking towards me this morning? Oh, oh dear, Miss Tripley. Uh, were they a tiny bit critical? Are you aware? that every major hospital within ten miles has issued a court order forbidding you from their premises following a series of almost identical catastrophes. And did those hospitals mention that I do collections for them too? I'm sure it's about breaking even. <laughs> Does anyone see what's going on out there? The students are being perfectly beastly. That's what's going on. Do you want to take a look out of those doors? Miss Travis, we are about to receive a visit from Her Majesty's Inspectorate which could decide the future of this entire school and I don't have time to play your socialist door games. Miss Travis! If, if we were so unpopular at the hospital, may I ask why the entire psychiatric staff personally asked me to come and perform in their wing? <laughs> I literally had to fight my way out! <laughs> which reminds me, Dr Clipston, senior resident of the Galfast Hospital Psychiatric Unit, is dropping by later to have a little word with you. Well, there you are, you see, they loved me! <laughs> They'd better tune my guitar. Uh, 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 Janet! Now, what are those three creatures doing there? Uh, Mr. Cartdale pulled them in early. He needed some help shifting some stuff from his class. Uh, yeah, Mr. Cartdale. Bollocks. <laughs> Mr. Cartdale, in, in view of what's happening today, you really are going to have to moderate your language. Buggery. <laughs> Thank you. Now, those three. We can't have them clutching up the school while there's an inspection, can we? Arse face, bum head, twat. <laughs> <laughs> you three. Is that the best you can do for school uniform? Collect your stuff from Mr. Cartdale's classroom and take a day's suspension. You're spoiling the appearance of the entire school. Result. Right, <laughs> staff members. Assemble in the staff room for our last pre-inspection meeting. Quickly now. Come on. Oh, Mr. Slatt, this is going to be a tough one. Well, they are looking for a school to close. I said a word with Kennedy at Morton Comprehensive. He said they were practically following him into the laboratories. <laughs> well, you know what they're like. Always after a few scalps. Of heads. <laughs> I know we haven't always seen eye to eye in the past, but I think we have to stick together on this one. You know, I think you and I have got a lot in common. Well, I know I have, anyway. 
<laughs> Thank you, Mr. Nixon. Uh, would you mind taking the staff meeting? Bit of an attack of the old nerves, yeah. <laughs> Everyone, pay attention. I'm sure I don't need to remind you that a school closure is being seriously considered in this area. Nor do I have to remind you that the result of this morning's inspection could almost certainly decide where the axe will fall. But let me assure you, I am confident. Janet, is the office staff fully apprised of the current inspection requirements? Yes. Mr. McGill, have you set up a room for the inspector's exclusive use with coffee-making facilities? Pass biscuits. Pass biscuits. Mr. Humboldt, have you dealt with all potential troublemakers among the pupils? Rugby practice yesterday. Yes. <laughs> then I can safely say, with some confidence, that this school has everything it requires to meet the very toughest of Her Majesty's inspectorate. Pupils. I'm sorry? We've got everything we need, except pupils. But we haven't rung the bell yet. They're still outside. No. But what do you mean, no? I mean, no, they're not outside. <sighs> Look. She's right. Playground's deserted. Well, they were out there a few minutes ago. They... <laughs> Try to tell you. They're gone. Apparently. They were here a moment ago. <laughs> no. They were all out here as usual, accusing a man of murder. That's right. They were being absolutely horrid. Honey, are you trying to tell me we just managed to mislay 809 children on the morning of an inspection? I mean, even we can't just lose 809 children. One little mishap during a hospital sing-along, and they all think they can just see what they like. Where have they gone? <laughs> What happened to them? I mean, I was just forced to take action. What have they... <laughs> yes, action! What form of action? They were being so rude and abusive, so I sacked them. <laughs> That's right. Eat the pupils. Yes. All of them. Well, just a few of them to begin with. The ones who were being rude. And then there were all those other ones laughing and being horrid. So I sacked them too. And then the whole playground seemed to be laughing at me. So I just told them anybody who wanted to be sacked could just go home right now. Which turned out to be most of the school, actually. I think at this point I may have started to go a bit over the top. Because I sacked all the ones who were left too. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dear God. In total fairness, they didn't really want to go. So I just had to sort of shoo them out. You shooed them? Well, yes. And I got the big boys to carry the ones who were crying and hanging on to the railings. Crying? Right. Oh, they were just wailing on because they've already paid for their school dinners. I told them they were sacked. And we didn't care whether they starved, quite frankly. Oh, my God. I told them they could just jolly well go into town and shoplift. <laughs> into town when I arrived. Are you telling me that on the morning of the inspection that will determine the future of everyone in this school, pupil, teacher, deputy head, <laughs> you have sacked the entire student population and sent them into town on a crime spree? Mr. Slat, I am expecting your support on this. No pupils! <laughs> An inspection and no pupils. Wait, where are you going? Stay exactly where you are. You 
suspended us, sir. No, wait, I've changed my mind. Too late, sir. No, listen, I'll revoke your suspension. You can come back in if you like. Sorry. Oh, come on, lads. Let's forget the whole thing and be friends. It'll be just like it was before. We've got a suspension and we can prove it. No, wait, please. I'll declare a smoking section in the playground. You can have bullying rights for all of the first year. I'll fire your maths teacher. <laughs> you utter, utter bastard! <laughs> 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 That's got to be them. Well, let's leave him to it, then. <laughs> Mr. Slad? <laughs> Mr. Slad? We're from the Inspectorate. Oh, God. <laughs> I love this school. <laughs> Where do we park? Oh, you know, anywhere you like. Absolutely. Right. Thank you. OK. I think I'll just uh, pop on ahead. Bastards. <laughs> Mr. Humble, you take the P department, get down the town, see if you can round up the kids. Good idea. We'll trap Sue too. They'll have hit the shopping centre by now. Yeah, just head for the red glow in the sky. Let's bring them in, lads, dead or alive. No, actually alive, Mr. Humboldt. This isn't the cross country. <laughs> right, everybody, report your classrooms. Behave absolutely as normal. Janet, back in your office. Rest your forelegs. <laughs> Miss Travis, you're the only one in the right age group. For what? You'll have to be all the pupils. <laughs> Mr Slat, how do you expect me to be 809 pupils? This about my thighs? <laughs> Here they come! Oh, come. Darling, was that my foreleg? Ow! <laughs> oh, hello. Eric Slat, isn't it? Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, John Crabtree, we talked together at Stainley Park, do yes. you remember? Yes, yeah. indeed. <laughs> this is Olivia Drumlins. Hello. Mr Slat. David Ogilvy. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello. Well, we've uh, set up a nice room for you with coffee plus biscuits, and uh, I expect you'll be wanting a separate office for your secretary. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Drumlins? is in charge of this inspection. <laughs> well, well, of course she is. <laughs> I bet you keep these two in line good and proper, don't you? Yes, I can see it in your face. Yes, mine, <laughs> mine's just the same. I am the senior person here. What, you're all secretaries? <laughs> I am the senior inspector present here. I am not a secretary of any kind. I simply happen to be a woman. You do know the difference between a secretary and a woman, don't you, Mr. Slat? Um... <laughs> Pregnancy? Uh, I think it's time we got this inspection underway, don't you, gentlemen? Uh, you, you sure you don't want to see the offices first? No. No? No. Is, is that no, you don't want to see the offices, or... No, yes, you do? <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Slat. You, you know, I sometimes think... That as you people work away deep in the bowels of the education department, maybe you start to forget some of the everyday realities of the working teacher's life. And perhaps, if you'll forgive me a moment's criticism, you even start to look down on us from your ivory bowels. 